What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure news. Now, I am a little bit late to this news. I think it was a couple days ago or three days ago. They did unveil this information, and I did not make a video on it because I had other videos going up, and I didn't do a two-in-one, you know, two-day upload or two-upload day or whatever the hell you want to say there. But today, guys, we are finally revealing the last figure in the WWE Fan Central Takeover line, or not the Fan Central, but the Elite Fan Takeover line where WWE and Mattel are coming together and they are asking us, the fans, what figures we want to be made. And it seems like it's the, you know, the part-time WWE figure fans or the, the wrestling fans that are really not even into collecting that have been controlling these waves. At least that's what the polls have been telling me every time I vote. But that's besides the point that, you know, we'll, we don't even know which ones won the vote. We'll have to see when that time comes to see if that is true or not. But today we are unveiling the last figure in Series 2 of the WWE Elite Fan Takeover line. You guys know in Series 2 we already have seen X-Pac. We have seen Christian, and we have seen none other than Johnny Gargano. And today we're f revealing the last one in the series because there is four in each series. In the first series, we'll, we'll cover the first series. But the fa last figure, the last figure that is going to fill out Elite Fan Series Takeover Line 2 is going to be Randy Orton. Yes, Randy Orton. We're finally getting another throwback Randy Orton, and this one is beautiful. Three different options here, and you guys can see there on the left, you have Backlash 2004. In the middle, they called this Royal Rumble 2004, but that's not the case. I do believe this is his WrestleMania 20 attire. His actual Royal Rumble 2004 attire was light blue, and it had, I think, black graphics with silver outline or silver graphics with black outline, which both of those are really good. I, I don't care which one we get as far as those are concerned. It does seem that this is going to be the WrestleMania 20 attire in the middle. And then for C, they do have... It, it lists this. It listed this as Raw 2004, Raw to September 6, 2004. But uh, this is obviously where he defeated Chris Benoit at SummerSlam 2004 and captured the World Heavyweight Championship, became the youngest World Heavyweight Champion of all time. And this was an epic moment right here. They didn't call it SummerSlam 2004. I feel like if they would have called it SummerSlam 2004, they probably would have. You know, I think that would have won the vote probably, which that is the one that I wanted the most out of these three. But at the time of recording this, I think the poll is already gone, like long gone. Uh, like I said, this video is going up a few days late to when they showed it off. But I don't even, I can't, I, I believe I did get one vote in. I didn't vote multiple times like I did on the other series and, you know, the other figures that we had in the, uh, you know, the fan takeover line where we were voting. I, I voted multiple times in those just to, you know, get the, the percentage up on some of those. I'm pretty sure they allowed you to vote multiple times if you just reloaded the page or whatever, but I, I guess we'll have to see about that like we said beforehand, but I would have voted for C. That is the one I would have liked to have seen. SummerSlam 2004, I guess they didn't call it SummerSlam 2004 because they don't want to bring any notoriety. Any, I don't know. They just don't want to plug to the SummerSlam 2004 because of the matchup, who he fought, who the champion was during that event, and you know what happened. I mean, I don't know why it would be that big of a deal because it's not like you have to mention what it was. You can just say where Randy Orton became the youngest world champion or... You know, I guess they don't want to mention it in, on the back of the packaging, possibly, if they were to get that figure. I'm not sure. I don't know what they were doing, but uh, I don't think it would have been that big of a deal. It could have easily been, you know, this is Randy Orton where he captured the World Heavyweight Championship, became the youngest world champion in WWE history, SummerSlam 2004, summer of 2004 or something like that. But I guess, you know, they, they can do whatever they want. That's just what I was thinking. But I think all three are beautiful. I think all three attires are great. I would have taken any of them. You guys know the last time we got a throwback Orton. It was, it's was it been a long time. Besides the Decade of Dominance Orton that we are getting later on this year, this is, um, is going to be our second flashback Orton. If you're not counting that Decade of Dominance, if you're counting that one, it will be our third flashback here. And it is going to be in the Legend Killer uh, you know, the, the throwback Randy Orton where he's with Evolution. And this looks beautiful, man. All three of these are beautiful. Backlash 2004, I love the red trunks. That match with Mick Foley was iconic. Uh, the WrestleMania 20 attire, he did, I think it was like a tag team match with the Rock and Sock connection at WrestleMania 20. But I do believe out of all three of these, I would have much rather have the SummerSlam 2004. I know we got a basic of it before, but getting an Elite is way different. I'd like to see if they do anything different compared to the last Elite we got. I believe it was Elite 49 was the last time we got a flashback Orton just like this in the similar haircut, similar era is what I'm talking about. I think the last one we got was WrestleMania 21 Randy Orton where he took on The Undertaker. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's what that figure was from. And this one is going to be from that 2004-ish era. It's going to be from the year 2004 because Backlash WrestleMania. Now, I think that all three of these are great. I don't care which one we get, whether it be Backlash, whether it be WrestleMania 20, whether it be the SummerSlam figure. I think all three are great. I think the last time I did check the polling before it ended, it was Backlash 
2004 leading the way. So I guess you can take with that what you will. You know, anything can change. Anything can just turn on a dime. And some of these, you know, results may not be what they were when the time being. But they were, I think it was leading by a pretty good significant amount of of people. I think it was, you know, it was like 54% or something were voting for choice A, so I guess we'll have to see about that. But, um, the peach attire, man, the peach attire from SummerSlam is so beautiful. It's iconic. It could have came with the World Heavyweight Championship. I guess the others can come with other ones as well. I mean, you're gonna get great accessories regardless of what figure they end up choosing. I'm actually really excited to see what packaging we get for these figures, because I think they're gonna look really good as well, uh, with all these fan centrals or fan takeover lines. But, let's run through the series. We already have Series 1 fully fleshed out, and now we have Series 2 fleshed out and I'm curious to know what you guys think down in the comment section below which series is stronger in your personal opinion so for series one so far we got uh, or not so far this is the full series one WWE Elite Fan Takeover Line series one it is going to be Seth Rollins, Shayna Baszler, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Adam Cole now this is a pretty good set you know overall I think if we end up getting the attires we want I think it could be really really good I think that Rollins and Cole are the standouts of the set because I think that Steamboat's uh, figure that he's going to be getting is going to be a re-release. And then Baszler, I don't know. I feel like I feel like WWE kind of already killed her character since she came up from NXT. So I don't know how big anybody is about that. I am excited to replace our other Elite Shayna Baszler because I'm, I'm glad that we're getting the double-jointed knees for the women. And we can replace all of our older women's figures with brand new ones. So that will be nice to see once that one does release. But then Series 2 is going to be featuring X-Pac. It is going to be featuring Christian. It is going to be featuring Johnny Gargano. And then lastly, like we covered in this video, it is going to be covering Randy Orton. Now, I think that in my personal opinion, I think Series 2 as a whole is better than Series 1. Even though I'm a Rollins guy, I love Adam Cole to death. I think Series 2 is better, especially it, it looks like I think, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but at the time of recording, I think the uh, the X Factor X Puck was winning the poll when I when I first saw that one. Christian, it seemed like the Money in the Bank one was winning, which is very unfortunate to me because we have a figure very similar, and I think we even have a basic of that exact match. And um, it could have been the Edge and Christian one, Christian one though, but I could have sworn it was the Money in the Bank when I last checked it. Uh, next up, we have Johnny Gargano. The last time I checked, I think the Iron Man was winning barely. I think that one and the Wolverine one were very very close. And then lastly, Orton, I think the uh, the red Backlash attire was the one that was winning. But overall, I think both sets are pretty strong. Again, I I'm sure that we will probably see render images of these, possibly, at San Diego Comic-Con or Comic-Con at home. You know, hopefully that's the case. I do believe we're a few weeks away from that date. But when we get all of those figures, I will definitely put them up to you guys, show them off, and uh, we will talk about everything under the sun. And I, I think we are going to get render images of these. I feel like... Was it all the way back to last year that we got renders of Elite Series 75 Seth Rollins in the Royal Rumble 2019 gear? And it took forever for that figure to release. And these figures aren't going to be releasing until 2021. So I could see us getting render images of these figures and them letting us know the results of the polls. That way we know exactly how they voted. Maybe in a Q&A we could get a question in there and ask them if they could, you know, change the audience that they're asking for these figures. So that way we get the figures that we actually want and not just part-time figure fans or part-time you know, WWE fans voting on this that don't even care, that aren't going to buy the figures. They need to be coming directly to the community that is going to be buying these figures because that's the people that they need to cater to. But I know that they're just like WWE in the sense that they need to cater to the part-time toy fans or the, you know, the part, the people that aren't fully invested in the line and collecting everything that's put out or a lot of stuff that's put out. That's the reason we get the top picks 2020 John Cena over and over and we get the Braun Strowman's over and over and we get the AJ Styles and the Roman Reigns. It's because people go down the toy aisle and they're like, ah, oh, I just got to grab a quick figure and then bam, top picks 2020 John Cena right there. Green shirt. I can just grab that. $10 basic and bam and uh, that's why the basics sell the most man that's exactly why it's a good business move it makes the most sense and uh, you know you can make a lot of money that way it's good business even though it's not they still cater to us at the end too so we, not only do we get what we want Mattel makes their business and they get their money and they should and they make all the great figures that we love so much so I think it works out both ways and sometimes it's not perfect but I still think that they do a really good job like I think all the great fate like the line has just constantly improved over and over and over again every single year and I think that will continue to build upon itself 
as we enter into Comic-Con at home. I think this is going to be the best Comic-Con reveal season ever. I've said that a few times now. So will that live up to it, guys? We're going to find out here in a few weeks. But I'd love to know down in the comment section below what you think of the WWE Elite Fan Tugover line, Series 1 and Series 2. Which series do you like better? Which is your best overall figure? Which Orton would you personally like to see? I'd say SummerSlam 2004, but I'm glad with any of them because Randy Orton's one of my favorites of all time. Probably my second favorite of all time right there. So I am down with any of these, but that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I'm getting out of here. Be sure to let me know all the info down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.